Yeah. You in you in Thailand right now, right? Oh yeah, obviously. I'm in Thailand. That. Oh, that's beauty. You 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 living yeah. our life. Like I mean, that's what we <laughs> want to be doing. Yeah, I I'm living my dream life in some way. I I do that. I want to to live like this when I want to and, and yeah. for long if I want to. We just thought it would be nice to kind of also understand your story. Uh, with regards to like how you got there and your experience, because I mean it also motivates us. W which part of Sweden are you from? I come from North Sweden, from uh, Sundsvall, Sollefteå, and a little village called Jönsele. <laughs> so we would like to know a little bit more about you, Saya. Um, yeah. Well, like I mean, like like we said, Hannah and I, we both loved your your happily bubbly personality and I mean for us yeah. <laughs> there's the, the few things we like well in, in people is like cheerful personalities and yeah. we love couples you know happy couples and yeah. because I mean I think I think you you as a person you are a, an ambassador of like so many things like we all are you know so you know when you're going around and you're being happy and you you are you know, just enjoying your life. It's it's like sort of inspirational to other people to, to also kind of search for their happiness or... It's like it took me a very, very long time to find myself where I am now. And to come to this, to SFM, it's been a very long journey, but... And, and, and it's like two parts of my life. And um, mm. I... I just, I just feel that today I'm 53 years old. And I feel like uh, 10 years younger than I was feeling 10 years ago. Now. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's because I, I were living a life. I had a, a family and children and all of that. And, and it's like a not good relationship that made me like uh, smaller. And I was like uh, going into some corner in rooms in some way. and and avoid people like and I, I was it was something that happened under a long time and it's like I didn't see it by myself and and then I broke up from that relationship and and just by coincidence I, I met my, my wife uh, eight years ago and that changed my life totally and I there was a year between that I was just alone and I spent a lot of time just being alone uh, by myself and I discovered myself again in some way and that year made me be the one that I am my true personality and when I met my wife I I discovered that it's like Life were going from a point where I was thinking that it soon will be over. <laughs> Not like I was thinking about uh, that I will die, but I, I had that mindset a little bit. Like I didn't see any big picture about my future in some way. It was like everything was behind me. Yeah. And then when I met her, it's like I I woke up again. I fell in love, of course, and 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 suddenly life had so much uh, opportunities and uh, and from that time and even to this day I can sometimes think about that life is too short I have so much to do so much to discover and everything and and it's like yeah, it's not so long any longer I don't think the same way when I was 53 like when I was 23 it's like it's a big difference yeah. and that's something that uh, I don't go around and think about that all day but it, I can think about that and I can feel that that feeling is some kind of proof that I'm living a very good life I I, um, I can talk with whoever I meet and, and I, I can understand whoever I be, and uh, I think people can can feel that I am an honest person like that. Like you say, 
I'm, I'm probably one of the most positive persons in this world, in some way. I, I, and, and that, I know, I know that because I have that feeling, but I know people around me also confirms that. So that makes me, uh, I believe it also that, that that's the way I am. So, and, and sometimes you, people can use that. <laughs> If yeah. you are too kind, you are too positive, you are too open, it's not always benefitful for you. And but I, I always been like that. Uh, I wanted something else, yeah. and, and I understood that it didn't because I, try, I was trying to get CEO works in as companies. So I were in some interviews, but I didn't get them, and I get this thought that yeah but even if I get that work and I get money I have not more time I will mm -hmm. never have more time and then I realized that that's not my way I, that's not my life I have to do something else because I wanted the money exactly like you say <laughs> because I wanted the money because I wanted to change my life yeah and money creates possibilities for that.